Hi guys, George here from Zero Peer Productions, and today for Skyrim Saturday Mods, I'm taking a look at a brand new, new lands and quest mod called Tava's Blessing. The mod adds a new port city in the northern parts of the Alakir Desert, three new quests, along with the ability to explore the surrounding desert area. The mod was created by the Cyber Network, a small team of mod authors, one of which is Red Rain, author of the Red Guard mods that I looked at earlier this year. One of my main criticisms of the Red Guard mod series is that it would have benefited from a team working on it to flesh out content, check for bugs, and help bring the world to life. There are two ways to access the new area, a statue over in Riverwood, which will teleport you to the new area, or by using an airship located at the throat of the world. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure if the Greybeards uh, approved of this little uh, little air dock right here. Hmm? What do you need? Uh, I didn't expect to catch anyone up here. What are you doing here? I'm leaving Skyrim. I had it. It's so cold here I miss my home, and my brother Ronnie is in danger. I must come to his aid. I see. Uh, you have important family matters. So what is your name? My name is Tamika Shama. I must go now. I have no time to chat. You wish to come with me? I could use some assistance. Um, ma'am. It says your name is Jada Ma'ab. And also your lips are very, very pink. Um, new lands to explore? I'd be happy to tag along. Yes, a new recruit. Uh, I could use some extra muscle. I hope you know how to fight. The desert is very unpredictable and, dan and dangerous place to visit. Uh, Alright, well, I'm so glad I'm coming with you then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta save your brother, I suppose. Oh. Uh, did the boat sink? Why am I underwater? Oh. Yeah, it got... It was beached, I suppose. I suppose. I mean, it's just kind of in the ground <laughs> right now. Hello there. Got a desert bandit. Uh, Oof. There we go. What do you need? Wait, who are you? Are you? Yes. Uh, what are you doing here in the desert? Bandits killed my parents in Dragonstar. Uh, then they started. Looking for me, they wanted me to be their slave and force me into prostitution. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, see, I am sorry. Glad you refused to join the prostitution ring. It's a nasty business. The worst part is that the pigs run the show. If you can do me a fav if you can do a favor for me and track down the killers, that gave me a beating. It's a big desert. How do you expect me to find them? There should be a question mark. Just stick around. I'm sure that they will find me, protect me, and keep me safe, and I'll give you some coin. I could use protection. All right, if you say so. Um, what happened to the lady I was here with? Did anyone see her? Also, how did I wind up in the water? Hmm. Yep, our airship has definitely seen better days. I guess I blacked out during the trip because I don't know what the hell happened. Were we attacked? Were we forced to land? Is that another bandit over there? Yeah, it is. I see you. How you doing there? Ooh, and down you go. Yep, don't, no arrows, okay? I'm sorry. I did think this mod was voice acted. Oh, well. Also, that's something, you know, that can be added in later on. Yeah, I don't know where, um, the lady went. We were supposed to help her brother, right? I guess not. I guess we're not helping her brother after all. A uh, little pineapple stand. Take some pineapples. Take some health potions. It's not stealing, you see? I'm watching the world materialize before my very eyes. It's though I'm... It's though as I'm... It's ever that. It's as though I'm in a mirage. I don't know if I can keep going that way, though. Let me see if there's a custom map. There is not. Okay. Oh, well. I know it's a little tough to add, but it's it's the little things like a custom map uh, or voice acting that really does make, you know, a new lands mod really just come together. Oof, that just popped in right there. And that's popping in too. Also, I need to find the settlement. Not settlement, but the, uh, the town. Is she not following me? I thought she was going to follow me. Hello. Yes? Um, what are you doing? You have any idea what happened to that woman I was traveling with? I'm supposed to keep her safe, but she's not really going anywhere. 
Took some skooma. I could sit in this chair and just wait for people to find me, but I don't think that's a very fun option. Oh, we got a ship over here. Got more bandits, maybe? Are these the bandits I've been looking for? They have a ship. How you doing? I hit her and I just hear her go, Arrgh! It's not how she screamed. Her scream was a little bit better, but mine was a little more terrifying, I suppose. Alright. Desert Bandit. I like... I like the, the makeup. It goes well with his uh, circlet. So their ship was uh, beached too, it seems. Like, really, really beached. Like... I don't know how it got that beached. But, oh well. Hey, that was beached too. What is with everyone's ships getting just really, really washed up on shore? Crazy desert sandstorms. You can never trust them. Like this one right here. Look what it did to this ship. That's too bad for this ship. But I don't see any crew, so it's okay. I can't, I can't walk up this way. Alright, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll explore and try to find people and try to find the port city. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll be back in a few, guys. Alright, so I'm back towards the airship, and there's a couple locations this way, so I guess we'll walk over here. I see someone else. I see a, a mammoth skull. And a little bit of a camp over here. We got pineapple, half of a pineapple, an avocado half. Ooh, and it's got the pit in it and everything. Let me just take that. I don't think avocados grow in the desert, though. Eh, they're imported. It's okay. Hey, come back here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Oh, they're shooting at me. Definitely not sorry. Not the shout I wanted to use, but... It works. It all works. Hmm, alright. I take it we're coming up on the, uh, the port city now. That, um, the prostitute lady, although she's not really a prostitute, she wanted to avoid prostitution, she wouldn't follow me. And there was no quest for her, so... I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. It said, follow me and protect me, but then I couldn't follow her. And there was no one coming to her. Ooh, Musafa. Hello, pleasure to meet you, sir. I like your makeup. Likewise, listen, I'm currently looking for muscle. I need you to kill some pigs for me. They killed my wife. I, re I would reward you with much gold. Sounds like a deal. Where are the bandits hiding? They are hiding deep in the desert, uh, looking for me. Travel past the broken down airship. Deep in the desert, you will find an oasis. I know, I came in on that airship. I think I already killed them for that matter. Teach them a lesson, make them pay for their atrocity. Started Desert Storm. Operation Desert Storm. Kill the hired killer who uh, assassinated his wife. I like the statue, it's just, it's emanating with power. As is this fountain, for that matter. We got a horse. Ride Smokey, mmm. I say mmm, because when I say Smokey, I think of like, like smoked meats, I'm thinking about like barbecue now. Dwemer Urn, doesn't look very Dwemer, looks very Nordic, but I can take all of this and no one really cares, so I'm not gonna complain. Uh, odds are I'm only going to be doing this mod uh, this week. Next week I'm going to be doing a different mod because... Because cars. Because uh, there's a few other mods out there that I wanted to take a look at and I just haven't been able to yet. But I'll do it next week. Oh, these are bandits. And they're just attacking a horse. I wasn't sure because... I figured since we were in the city... That everyone was safe. But no. They wanted to kill this damn horse. Ooh, the... Palomino horse. It's very quiet. Then again, it is night, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I guess let's get started on Desert Storm. Although there's no quest marker. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully, if I go back towards the downed airship, there will be another person spawned. Oh, hello. Mm. The black market dealer. You have very pink lips. What do you need? What? Oh, no, oh, handsome, thank you. What is it with people in this mod with very vibrant lipstick? Likewise, so are you just browsing or are you here to 
hit on me. Oh, um, uh, I was just being friendly. You're not my type. Be careful with your words. You can't go around hurting people's feelings. I don't have time for this. You better leave before I call my boyfriend. Then, wait, you have a boyfriend, but you want me to hit on you? I'm getting very strange mixed signals. I'm curious now. Can I choose the other option? I'm not a womanizer. I just find you really attractive. You're rather charming. I like a person with confidence. So what are you doing now? Can I get you a drink? Oh, all right. I'm very forward. Sure, but I don't drink ale or mead. I usually eat bread with honey and a cup of milk, but some thieves stole my honey last night. Oh, I guess honey's hard to get out here in the desert. I'll track down the rats. If I find them, I'll accept blood as payment. What? All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Make them pay. I think it might be Malik and Badu. They are ruthless thugs. Here, have a drink on me. Or not. Tanya's request. Right, Tanya. With the very vibrant lipstick. There's a quest marker for this one. Okay. Wait, so she has a boyfriend, but she wants me to hit on her. Called me handsome. I don't trust her. Granted, she also says... It also says, uh black market dealer, so another reason not to necessarily trust her too much. Go figure, I don't exactly trust the black market or their dealers. It's just, um, it's just how I operate. So I'm looking for Malik and Badu. Bado. What was what? Hello there. Alright, I guess this is... <laughs> it's as simple as that. I guess they are... Ruthless thugs. If they do just... If I step up to them, they're like, Hey, let's kill them. Right now, immediately. Honey jar. Hmm. And I don't know why I'm taking the moon sugar. I just... I am. I guess that way they don't have it. I can deny them. Of their base pleasures. How you doing? Ooh. Sorry, sir. Sorry, not sorry. Let me just... Uh, oh. Someone hit me with an arrow. They didn't like me throwing their friends' bodies off of buildings. I've got an arrow through my head. That looks very painful. Got another guy over there, but it doesn't really matter. I can just give her her honey, and she'll call me honey, and I'll say, Whoa, you have a boyfriend. I know that because I said you weren't my type, and you yelled at me, and then I said you were my type, and then you were like, Oh, never mind. I forgot about my boyfriend, apparently. I know in the mod description it said you can get a girlfriend in this mod, which really isn't my cup of tea, but I'm guessing that might be... I'm gonna call you Tanya. You know what? For old times' sake, I'm gonna call you Tanya. Oh! <gasps> Papaya! Papaya. And an eggplant. These aren't exactly... desert... fruits. I'm just saying. Bacon. <laughs> what? Um... Okay. Let's take a look at that bacon. This is very odd. Alright, there's bacon in this mod, everyone. And fried eggs. Okay, then. Skooma dust. I'll take that. Has no value. Good to know. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. Uh, I found the thugs that stole from you. It was Malik the Merchant. Thank you so much. I was so worried. Thank you for getting the honey. I can now eat in peace. I owe you a big one. Here is some coin. 2,500 coins. Gold for a pot of honey? Wow. Must be really expensive out here. Uh, thank you for the coin. Malik had it coming. He literally attacked me the second I walked up to him. I agree. Me and the community are grateful for your service. You're a black market dealer. You can't talk about the community here. It was my pleasure to kill Malik. All he did was harm people. I didn't know the guy, to be fair. I agree. You should probably get some rest now or relax at an inn nearby. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to take a nap as I stand on this chair. Okay, if you say so. Also, she gave me a letter. Let's read the letter. Thank you so much. I can't believe that you went through so much trouble just so I can eat today. Honey and bread are my main sources of food. Uh, you should probably expand your palate a little bit. I was very worried and I was praying to Tava to send me someone who would help me get some food and help our business. Because it wasn't doing... Well, the resources are very low and I couldn't afford to lose... That honey, because honey is very expensive these days. Yeah, 2,500 gold for a pot, apparently. Apparently, caviar is cheaper than honey. 
This kind act, uh, the, the, this kind act means so much to me. You came just when I needed you the most. Tava bless you. I will never forget this kind act. I hope this is the start of something special. Well then. And now she's very forward. Yes. I talked to her. Yeah, here, have a drink on me. Got any ale or mead, even though I said I don't drink ale or mead? I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Here. Enjoy. All right, then. You all liquored up now? Oh, she actually is going to drink it. Okay, that I like. Um, I guess let's try to find Musafa's wife's killers. Actually, no, let's go in the inn and see if there's anyone I can talk to in here. I assume this is the inn. Nope, that's Tanya's house. It's very nice. You got a nice house, Tanya. The black market definitely pays well. All of these houses are... Oh, there's a dead body in there. I can't go in any of the houses. They've all been filled with sand. And that... I can take the corpse? No, thank you. What is with this city? This is weird. There's corpses just lying out in the street. Clean up your corpses. Come on. Ugh. I don't want to pick up any corpses. Huh. In? No, it's a door that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, you can see through the door into the world. All right, then. In, if that's going to be the case, just make the door inaccessible. That's probably illegal if I break into their house. Where's the inn? She said go to the inn. Door. Leads to nowhere, of course. Door. Okay. I know they said they're going to be working on this mod more, but... And this is going to be, like, me nitpicking as usual, just because I'm a crazy person. Um, but personally, like, I can understand if you're releasing this sort of as a beta build to test it out, but... If you are going to release a beta build, I would prefer... Just kind of, like... Patching up the seams. So, like, if you, there is going to be a door that doesn't lead anywhere, don't have it... Um accessible or just don't have the building there yet that's i don't know that's just me but that's that's just how i feel about it personally i don't know if you guys feel the same way that's just how i am that leads to skyrim what raboth's house player's home <laughs> i like that it's just labeled player's home where's the inn she was telling me to go to the inn yeah yeah all right fine let's go try to find this guy's uh wife's killer is this what I have to take to get back to Skyrim? Apparently. I can't use it at all. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to try to find his wife's killers, and I'll be back in a second, I suppose. Alright, looks like we're coming up on um, what's supposed to be a Stormcloak camp, or at least that's what, you know, the logo is. Or, you know, the, the map marker. Hello there, how you doing, sir? Goddamn desert bandits! Oh, you're dead. How's it feel? Also, they keep on using the same, this same model. I've killed this guy three times now. Wears the exact same clothing. Wears the exact same headdress, same face, same um, makeup and everything. It's a little noticeable when there's only, you know, so many enemies here. <laughs> a little bit of variety would be nice. I definitely feel like I'm sort of playtesting this almost, like, this wouldn't be a complete mod, almost. I mean, that being said, if this is just a starting point for the mod, and you're, they are building on top of it and gonna improve on some of these features, then... Then that'd be awesome, I'd be pretty happy with that. Can I go in here? I can. I mean, said it's a little odd that I had to... Well, yeah, yeah, now there's a door, but on the other side it was just a hole. Alright. Hi there! <laughs> I see you really like sitting in water. Alright, yeah, it's just stuff like that that's kind of immersion-breaking to me, personally. Like, oh yeah, no, there's a submerged cave, and they're just sitting in the water, eating. Wouldn't that be a little uncomfortable? I would think so. And like I said, I'm just, I am nitpicking, I suppose, but it's just, I'm giving my opinions. It's just, it's, that's what this is, isn't it? I think so. How do I know when I kill the guy's wife? There's no quest marker or anything. And I... I think I'm running out of places to explore, unless I just go back to where the airship was and the enemy spawned, which is also a distinct possibility. Alright, so... Let's head back to the airship, I suppose. See if we can find anyone. I like the destroyed 
Dwemer Ruin. Oh, what is this? It's just a castle wall. Oh, found a little settlement, it seems. Anybody here? No? Okay. It's very deserted. It's a very deserted desert, to say the least. Hmm. All right, then. <laughs> so is this just kind of like a monument or something, or just kind of... Hmm. Okay. Huh. All right, so I'm going to try to find... Um the killers who killed his wife, and if I can't find them, then I'll just return back to the city. And, oh boy, I can see through the world. I can see clearly now. The Rock is gone. And I'm not even talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson this time. Although, you know, I usually am. I always talk about him. My favorite person in the world, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And no, he's not here today, unfortunately. Did anyone else spawn? No? Hmm. I mean, I know that... I looked at the mod page and it said there's only three quests right now, so... I I don't even think that Desert Storm is... Oh no, Desert... Wait. Wait a second. Let me read this. Uh, Mustafa wants me to kill a bandit who killed his wife. Honestly, Mustafa looks like bad news. I think this guy is trouble. I should keep my distance from him. Mustafa looks like a hired killer. He is also... Tanya's boyfriend at the moment. I'm just waiting for him to slip. If he hurts Tanya in any way, I'll deal with him personally. Some context would have been nice. How am I supposed to know that? How does my character know that? I... Uh... Okay. Little... Confusing. So I don't trust him, but I said I'll kill the people who killed his wife, but I don't know if they even exist... I'm waiting for him to slip any sort of indication that that was supposed to be what I took away from that conversation would be really helpful for that matter. Also, I still have no idea where the woman I came here with is. She crashed the ship and left. Like, she disappeared for all of eternity, it seems. <laughs> 